and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today and we are going to be celebrating a 4-0 victory and not only those four goals, it was absolutely dominant tonight at the Camp Nou as Lionel Messi and Arda Turan contributed to the goal scoring and we ran riot against the German side and in doing so topped our group with 15 points. Manchester City came in second with nine, so a six point gap there between ourselves and the second place Manchester City as we now go into the next stage as group winners and without conceding a single goal at home in the group stage. So welcome back here to Talk FCB. The lineup that Luis Enrique chose today was slightly different to the one we discussed yesterday. We had a look at the team. We uh, we made a look at some of the players who could be involved today and he did pick a lot of them. There was a few changes. Mascherano played instead of Marlon who I suggested. Gomez played slightly deeper in Busquets' role. Denny Suarez therefore was alongside Iniesta and Arda Turan came into that attack in the place of the suspended Neymar. And boy, did every one of those players pretty much make their mark tonight. I think it was very, very good from Luis Enrique, the team that he picked. I thought he played a very, very good point in playing the players he did. Because in a game like this where, like I say beforehand, we didn't have to win, but in some ways we did because we needed that confidence. We needed that momentum to start kicking in. We played very, very well in the second half against Real Madrid and we needed to build on that. And that's exactly what we did tonight. Luis Enrique picked a very, very good team. He managed to rest some key players, but he also managed to bring in some youth and make some rotations. And that in itself was a very, very good decision because the team that we got tonight and the performance that we got tonight will go a long, long way. And it's almost a little bit reminiscent of when we, in the treble winning season, we lost to Real Sociedad 1-0. There was a lot of controversy. And then in that week that, that followed that, we had Elche at home in the Copa del Rey. We, we destroyed them. And then we went on to destroy Atletico just a few days later. And it's got that feel about it that at the moment, we were on the verge of doing something and this was a real statement win tonight it wasn't only about the goals it wasn't only about the margin it was about the, the sense of purpose in our play the way we went about our game and certainly the way the goals were taken it was all about the attitude tonight and we got it spot on Luis Enrique did well the players did well the fans played their part as well and it was a really really impressive win so to look at it in a bit more detail, a lot of people will come in here today and they'll say, look, you know, Munchen Gladbach, they're not doing very well in, the, well in the Bundesliga, they're very low on confidence, they're not a very top quality team. But for me, that's not the point. I've always said you can only play what's in front of you. Tonight, Munchen Gladbach were there, they're a Champions League team as of this season, they're not doing well in the Bundesliga, but they're still in the Champions League and we destroyed them, we dismantled them, they didn't pose a threat at all, they came to defend, to sit back and we just made absolute mincemeat of of them and what I want to say as well is it was all about the mindset tonight because we came into this game like I say not needing anything we didn't need to win we didn't need to draw we were top of our group that was confirmed so it was all about the mindset of the players and how they wanted to approach it and you cannot doubt that about Barcelona players tonight this team was no different from Malaga from Alaves even maybe from Real Sociedad Munchen Gladbach no different to those teams that we've dropped points to over the past few months but the difference tonight was the mindset we were confident we were very very in the face of Munchen glad back we were determined every single player out there tonight wanted to prove a point they were running they were chasing the ball the intensity was there and most importantly in front of goal tonight we showed a clinical nature we put away the chances that we had and credit very very much so to Arda Turan tonight he may have got criticized a lot in the last few days he was the man who gave away the free kick in the Classico but what I would say about him is if he's going to play play him in that front three he's not a midfield trio man but if you play him in that front three much like we saw at the start of the season Season, he can certainly do a job. He scored three goals tonight in four shots that he had. They were all on target and he scored three goals, his first hat-trick as a Barcelona player. And his finishing tonight was outstanding. And I tell you what, if you sort of switch it around, if he'd have had the chance tonight that Neymar did in the Clasico, he probably would have scored it. Now, I'm not saying, of course, Arda Turan over Neymar, but what I'm saying is we need that clinical nature in front of goal. We need our players to take those sort of chances. And Turan did tonight. Lino Messi it was, though, that got off the scoring off the mark. It was 1-0 in the first half. And to be honest, we deserved a lot more goals in that first half. We dominated it. I think the pass accuracy was at about 90%. We were absolutely dominating the ball. Lino Messi, we've seen the move a million times before. He picks the ball up deep. He gives it all 
off and it's out to the left hand side towards Arda Turan. He starts the move, he finishes the move. He gets the ball back and he drills it into the uh, opposite right hand corner and that's 1-0. And straight away we're setting the pace, we're setting the tempo, we're dictating the play. Munch and Gladbach are penned back in their own half. We never let them get out. We never for one second let them get out. We penned them back, we made them work hard, we tired them out and it was a great performance. We got to half time, like I say, should have been more than one goal but in that second half, per particularly in that sort of first period in the second half, we really went for it. We, we put our foot on the gas, Arda Turan with a, a pretty quick fire hat-trick, a hat-trick in just 17 minutes. The first goal coming in the 50th minute, assisted by Denny Suarez. It was a ball that came in from the right-hand side. It bubbled up uh, and Arda Turan finished it off pretty, really well with the head. And then the second goal came just three minutes later. Arda Turan, another goal for him. Again, coming from that right-hand side. There were some really good combinations down that right-hand side throughout the game between Alex Vidal, Denis Suarez, Lionel Messi. Um, Alex Vidal, I'll come on to in just a minute. A ball came in, very, very accurate cross, straight to the feet of Arda Turan. He didn't take a touch, again, showing the confidence. And he just drilled it again into that bottom right-hand goal. That was an excellent finish. A really, really good first-time finish from Arda Turan. Rafinha then came on for Iniesta, who again, I'll come on to the individual performances in just a moment. But then Arda Turan wrapped up his hat-trick, uh, 67 minutes gone. Alcasa this time with the assist. Once again, the ball coming from that right-hand side. Drilled across, a low ball. Arda Turan's in the right position. And again, an accurate finish. And that topped off the 4-0 goal line. Uh, a few more a few more chances there was for the final whistle. There could have been a few more goals. Lionel Messi needed just one goal to equal Cristiano Ronaldo's group stage record. That would have taken him to 11 goals but his diving header was denied by a brilliant save from Jan Somner in the Borussia Mönchengladbach goal but he finished the group stage on 10 goals which is certainly not bad considering he played five games so he's averaging two goals a game for most of that group stage he only participated in five of them and it was a brilliant brilliant group stage for us like I say we didn't concede a single goal at home we finished on 15 points and it was certainly the perfect game tonight to wrap that up and really, really stamp our mark at the top of Group C and certainly eclipse ourselves and, and really, really see off Manchester City with six points behind. So let's have a little bit of a look at the individual performances tonight of some players. Jasper Sillison started in goal. He didn't have an awful lot to do, to be fair. Um, you know, not an awful lot that he could have done throughout the game. There was one moment uh, where um, the, the British Manchester Glover broke. They went round him, but he did force... Um, uh, forced them out wide so they didn't really come to anything. Other than that, there wasn't an awful lot for him to do. Vidal and Dinya, I think Vidal tonight put down a real marker, but it, again, it is the same sort of worries that I have with him. I think he does deserve more game time. I think we can certainly play him in certain matches, but defensively, he is suspect. Defensively, he does still show at times that he's a bit rash, he's a bit raw, but going forward, he's terrific. A lot of his positioning was actually in the right wing position tonight. He was that far advanced down that right hand side, and he did play some very very, very nice passes into the area. He was energetic. He's very, very fast, very pacey. We know that about him, and he played well. The same goes for Digne on that left-hand side, possibly a little more reserved, but he, he put in some excellent passes as well. He was the man who set up Lionel Messi in that latter stage for that diving header, which was so close to being a goal. Mascherano and Mtiti tonight, really impressed with them. Like I say, not an awful lot they had to do defensively, but they were pushing up at every opportunity, getting to the halfway line and pressing intercepting and certainly Mascherano and Mtiti were very very good at reading the game winning the ball back quickly and like I say pressing and penning in Borussia Mönchengladbach at every opportunity they had Andre Gomez and let's talk about him particularly two players in midfield Gomez and Denis Suarez two of them tonight I thought played outstandingly well in their roles I thought Gomez played in the sort of Busquets role he was dropping deep and again very similar to Vidal maybe when he's forced a bit back more defensively he may struggle a little bit more in that position when he's got a team that's really going to get in his face and attack. Munchen Glamour didn't really do that tonight. So Gomez was allowed to sort of dictate the play. He had a bit of space. He had a bit of time. When it was in tight space, I thought his footwork was very good. I thought he was very, very clean, tidy on the ball. He was very, very good with the ball at his feet. He played some really nice touches in and around the opposition half. I thought Gomez tonight in that position was much, much calmer and much, much better. I thought he played well tonight. And Denny Suarez was really the man tonight. I thought he played absolutely outstandingly. Every time he was on the ball, he was looking to cause problems. He was looking to go forward. He was looking to take a risk. That's what we want to see players doing in those areas. He played very, very well. Like I say, he was out on the right. And then when uh, when Rafinha came on, he came out more to the left. And the thing I like about Denny Suarez a lot is the fact that when he was at Villarreal and Sevilla, he did play on the wing a lot of the time. So when he's in that sort of midfield role... 
If he needs to, he can go out wide, he can, he can switch the play, he can drag the defenders and sort of widen the pitch a little bit. And when he's in those wider areas, he's very, very good on the ball. He can go past players, he's got a bit of pace. And I think Denis Suarez has all the qualities that are needed to really become a great player in that Barcelona midfield. And I think over the years that he's with us, and I'm, con I'm convinced that he's going to be with us for many, many years, he can really improve, learn from players like Iniesta and Busquets and really, really advance his play because he's got everything you need and I thought the performance from him tonight was outstanding and I think we should definitely be seeing more of him in the weeks to come. Iniesta, some valuable minutes for him. Very, very good performance. As always, he came off for Rafinha. No doubt he'll be starting the game on the weekend against Osasuna. Every single time that we see him in the lineup, we look a much better team. That's no coincidence whatsoever. We've spoken about the brilliance of Arda Turan tonight. Three goals, three excellently taken finishes and a really, really good uh, performance from him. If he can stay in the team against Osasuna in that position, very, very excited to see how he can do in La Liga on the weekend. Neymar suspended for that game as well. So a real chance for Arda to already put down a marker and put some pressure on Neymar's place in that left wing role. On the right-hand side, Lionel Messi, he, he didn't probably play on the right-hand side for most of the game. He was floating around. He was dropping a bit deeper as he does. He took the armband late on. He was leading things. He was controlling things. And again, in every sort of stage of the play, Lionel Messi was there and he was unlucky not to really break or equal at least that Ronaldo group stage record. But I don't think he's going to be too concerned about that tonight. He got off the mark. He got us off the mark with a 1-0 goal and uh, he played again at a pretty good level tonight. Not top gear, probably because he didn't have to be. But uh, certainly, again, we needed to be at his best against us sooner on the weekend and I'm convinced certainly that he will be and then the only probably downside the only disappointing moment from tonight's game was the fact that Alcacer still hasn't got off the mark and to be honest tonight he didn't really have a good chance you know in other games he's had chances and he's missed them tonight really he didn't really get anything into his feet he didn't really get played in Rinch and Gladbach were probably too deep to get anywhere near in behind them so it was quite unlucky from Alcacer tonight that he didn't really get a clear cut chance to open his Barca account he had one split second chance that sort of the keeper saved quite well he was he's in behind a little bit but it didn't really happen for him again tonight I'm really disappointed with that you know I'm really really hoping for him really really rooting for him he did get involved a little bit in the build-up but not a great deal he was static but he did try and work hard when the ball was in and around him and I'm just praying that at some point Alcacer can get off the mark because I do want him to succeed at the club every signing that comes in deserves a good chance he's having his chances but at the moment it's not quite falling for him and you can see he's so dishandled he's so disgruntled out on the pitch he's so disappointed that he can't can't get off the mark and no doubt it is affecting his confidence now but the whole crowd you sense that they were still in support of him they want him to get that goal and hopefully sooner rather than later he can get off the mark for Barca but at the moment it's not great for him but hopefully we can stick behind him and hopefully it'll come but he did get that assist that's a good thing he did get his assist at least to Arda Turan later on in the game and that maybe at least is something for him to take from the game so Overall tonight, fantastic performance. We controlled it. We bossed it. We played terrific football. Close passing, quick passing, elegant passing. And it was a brilliant night for goals, for finishes, for the group in general. Luis Enrique got everything spot on with his team selection and his subs. On to Osasuna now on the weekend. Hopefully this can be the start of a winning for one run for us. That's what we desperately need. Leave your thoughts down below, guys, on what you thought of the performance in general tonight. I'm very, very excited, as always, to hear your thoughts. But tonight, let's celebrate. We're top of the group. And hopefully this is the start of things to come. Vasca, El Barça.